In this Godot 4 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw lines and points like these. This entire demo is on GitHub and the link is in the description, but this video will be focused on specifically the line and point drawing. Here is my point drawing function. Now this is in a script called draw3d and this script is an auto load. So if we go to project, project settings, auto load, um, you see it's right here. Putting it in auto load allows us to call this function from anywhere in the project. For example, in the demo, this is where I'm drawing the point. And you see I have draw 3 dpoint and then the arguments. Here's our function. Um, we are taking one mandatory argument, which is a vector 3 for position, and then two optional, uh, radius and color. We start off by creating a new mesh instance 3D a new sphere mesh and a new ORM material. We add our sphere mesh to the mesh of the mesh instance. We make sure the mesh instance isn't casting shadows. You don't need to do this, but I prefer the debug shapes not to cast shadows. And we set the position of the mesh instance to the position we passed in. So if we didn't do anything else, this is what it would look like. And it's working, right? We're spawning spheres in, but this isn't ideal. They're shaded and they're really big. We need to actually change the sphere mesh as well. So we want to set the radius to the radius we passed in, the height to the radius times two, and set the material to the material we created. So now we need to actually change the material to be the correct color. We set the material shading mode to unshaded, and the color to the color we passed in. Now, the only thing left is to add the mesh instance to the tree. If we didn't do that, they are being created, but you can't see them because they're not in the tree. Adding it to the tree makes it so we can actually see the spheres that we create. And finally, we return the mesh instance that we create so we can clean them up when we're done using them. For example, in the demo, I have an array of points or an array called points. And when I make the point, I append it to the points array. So that when clear points and lines is called, I can go through every point in the points array and free it and then clear the points array. I can spawn them in and then I can right click to get rid of them. What about lines? There unfortunately is not like a line mesh. There's sphere mesh, cube, uh, prism, etc. but there's no line mesh. But what we do have is an immediate mesh. And this is a mesh specifically for creating meshes programmatically. And that's exactly what we want to do. Our line function takes in two vectors and an optional color. The two vectors are the start position of the line and the end position of the line. These two functions are basically the same. The only difference is what mesh we use. For the line function, we're using an immediate mesh. An immediate mesh is used for creating geometry programmatically. It's, it's basically an array of points that are connected in, in a specific way. In our case, since we're using the primitive type primitive lines, every two vertices that are added to the immediate mesh are connected as a line. So how do we actually create this immediate mesh? First, we call surface begin on immediate mesh and we input our primitive type and our material. Next, we call surface add vertex. This adds the vertices to the immediate mesh. We call it twice, one for each position, the start position and the end position. And then finally, we call surface end. This kind of like finishes the whole process up. And that's how you make a custom immediate mesh. There are other types such as like uh, points, triangles. Um, the reason we didn't use points for our point is because it's just like one pixel big. So it's really hard to see. Everything else in this function is exactly the same as the point one. And this is what it looks like. If you're curious how I did this black line, I'm basically creating a line and then destroying it every frame. Now this video is not going to go over the actual demo code. So clicking the screen and then having points spawn where you click. But if you want a video on that, let me know in the comments. Just keep in mind, you can download this full demo from GitHub using the link in the description. Like and comment for the algorithm and subscribe if you want to see more. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first Godot tutorial, so uh, I, any feedback is appreciated, uh, especially if you want to see tutorials on other stuff. Yeah, let me know. Have a good day. I'll see you later.